messing about really. But I started with short stories in 1970-something um, and I got them published, so I was quite pleased. And eventually different magazines go to the wall and I thought, well, I'm going to start writing novels. I had written two novels, but uh, they didn't come anywhere. Um, but I got myself an agent first time. I put a pin in a list and got the agent. And uh, the first novel was a historical about Oliver Cromwell, family, and uh, but it didn't get anywhere. But uh, was it Macmillan? Macmillan, she gave it to them, and I must tell you this: they they sent it back with the most gorgeous um, rejection. They said we like the book very much, but the author is unknown, as I was then. Um, we, Historicals are not in, and it's a very long book, and we can't publish an unknown author on historicals very long. So, but we send it back, and we, but we likened her to the best of Jean Plady. My head, you could, and my son said, Jean Plady, she's old hat now, and I, my ego took a nose time. But the next book, my agent said, Can you write something Edwardian? And I had an idea, and it sold. I was very, very pleased that I've never looked back. <laughs> and so here in 2009, how many novels have you written? Um, 21. One includes the first one I ever did, which is a self-published thing, about Dunton Waylitz, which is local, uh, which went back to Saxon Town, so I wrote a history of it. So really it's 20, but my 21st one comes out in, in April. And that's going to be? Uh, that's called Julia's Way. And it's very, uh, it's set in um, 1920. I love the flapper years. <laughs> and um, it, it's just a girl whose father had gambled away their fortune and she had to help her family. And when she, he gambled away on the stock exchange. And uh, when she met the young man she was going to marry, he started gambling on the stock exchange. And they became style uh, in the um, fashion world got lots pots and pots of money and uh, then of course the 1929 Wall Street crash he loses everything but the fact that she's always had this fear, fear of banks and gambling she's put her money out of the floorboards and they found there's thousands under there and they're able to start again and as I said it's uh, somebody says how did you know there was going to be a slope because it's current this book is going to it's going to sell I hope it will <laughs> And uh, she just said, you're a witch, you knew what's coming. <laughs> and your novels are particularly set in the area from what, East End all the way through to the Essex Corridor here? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I was brought up in the East End and uh, they mostly are set in the East End. Uh, one, the previous one I'd done was set in France. I came away from that and it's, it's doing very well. It's about a con woman in France. <laughs> Oh, a con family, the whole lot for confidence tricks. And, um, but mostly it's all set in the East End. You, know. you have mentioned that the uh, novel being set in France, but you've also, oh. and you're, you're here in your, you know, on your Thurrock, and you've set novels oh, in yes. the Thurrock um, area. Yes, I, uh, it was actually the first book I ever wrote, um, called Company of Rebels. It's about the Peasants' Revolt. And it's, all the names are authentic, and all the, uh, time is authentic and the events but of course obviously being a novel there's little bits of extra put in to make it interesting and uh, that sold very well I must tell you it's a uh, um, uh, this came from book list in um, oh dear um, well America anyway in the USA and it's got populated with memorable characters lusty baldy gruesome and full of rich periodical detail this is a first-rate historical adventure. But I love the gruesome. <laughs> it's the body and gruesome, that's a recommendation. It is really, I mean, people get beheaded. Yeah. But, uh, no, I was quite pleased with that, and it's gone into, um, well, most of my books go into CD in the end. Large print, paperback, ordinary. And do you get feedback from people in Essex or indeed around the world? I get uh, feedback from around the world, yeah. I've just had a letter from someone in New Zealand and I've only just got round to writing back to them, you know. And uh, no, she's uh, she's very interested, you know, especially in the East End, because uh, apparently her mother came from the East End. And I've had quite a few, Canada, um, Norway, so I'm pleased about that. <laughs> 
Different places. And you must have to do a lot of research. I love research. I really do enjoy it. I get a big kick out of it. Um, and I do it, what I say, on the hoof. Um, I, as I come up against some problem, I go and research it. So I don't research a book beforehand. No, but, uh, yeah, I really enjoy that. <laughs> and the writing process, are you somebody who writes every day? I, 